All right, so I noticed that my Guinness drought clone that I have fermenting stopped bubbling. So after doing a little research, uh, I figured out that you check the hydrometer readings uh, one day and then you check them a couple days later to see if it's changed at all. If it hasn't changed, you're ready to bottle it. I'm only one week in, it only fermented for like three days, I hope it will, but I'm not sure if it's ready or not, but uh, we'll go ahead and give this a reading. The first time that I didn't, let's see what we got here. So we're at... So we're all right. Point one. Looks like we're at exactly point zero zero one. Let me give it another. Or I think it's point zero zero one. Definitely alcohol in there. Yeah. Directly at point zero. Zero one, which we were supposed to hit point zero one one at the end. So we'll check this in a couple days to see if it's changed. And if it hasn't, then we'll just go ahead and bottle her. What's going on, people? Uh, in this step, we're going to be making the priming solution for both the Carolina Reaper Cactus Mango Infused Beer and the Guinness Drought. Uh, of course, I just added vanilla for in this priming solution. I'll show you what I did. First, uh, the Cactus Reaper Mango Beer. What I did was I used uh, I used these sweet and dried mangoes in the priming sugar, which I uh, this this already had sugar, so I only needed to add half the amount. And I used powdered sugar. I used about. Uh, a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar and about a half a bag of these dried mangoes. Which, uh, they smell, they smell tropical. Yeah. Dried up. Yeah, they're actually pretty good by themselves, but the next batch is a Guinness Drought or Draft, however you want to say it. I had three cinnamon sticks to give that frothy head. You really can't taste the cinnamon when you use a small amount. But I did add uh, two teaspoon or two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract. I'm gonna try it here in a second. I might add another tablespoon, but I use brown sugar instead of the powdered sugar in there because I used brown sugar last time and it did give me more of that frothy head on this uh, Carolina Reaper beer. You know, I don't, I don't want a frothy head on it. I want it to just be smooth and, and crisp. But, uh, yeah. What we're going to do is boil both these. Uh, get everything nice and sanitary, cap them up. Uh, and just let them sit here and uh, we'll be bottling tonight so it won't go bad. But, uh, I'll show you some of the bottling process here tonight. All right, so I did my last hydrometer reading for the uh, Guinness Draft or Drought clone, and I'm gonna redo the hydrometer reading. I got all my stuff ready. Uh, Ricky, explain what that smell of that is like. Mm. It's got a real nice kind of like bellow, real, real dark, does it smell like chocolatey. It's, it's, it's really nice, really nice. Does it smell like Guinness? It does. Well, good, damn. This is gonna be good. All right, well, let's check this uh, hydrometer reading real quick. See if this beer is ready. All right, let's see here. And it is ready. It has not moved in two days. Oh, it's still the same. 
it exactly. Oh, why can't I do it? 1.01. All right, so we are racking this uh, Carolina Reaper Mingo Cactus beer, and uh, here's the color of it, and uh, here's the color on the inside. Looks darker. Uh, it's got a nice golden color. It's not horrible. It's maybe a little cloudy. It's got cactus powder in it. Ah, the mango is mixing in well with that reaper. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Oh yeah, it definitely has the, uh, the mango and sort of a, a, just a real fruity sort of smell to it, like a fruit juice almost. The pineapple and, and mango. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, we're going to bottle this up here in a second, and then I'm going to bottle up the Guinness, so catch you in a bit. Alright, we got our hydrometer reading in our hydrometer glass of the Carolina Reaper beer. Let's go ahead and do a reading, see what our final alcohol is, and what kind of separation we got. So it looks like we're looking at uh, one point or point zero zero eight. Point zero zero eight. So point zero zero eight. I'll have to do the calculations to see what see what kind of. Percentage we got, but uh, we're sitting at 0 .008 from point zero four two zero at the original. All right. All right. I bottled two boxes of twenty five bottles each, and I uh, got fifty bears. Here's my sample that I shaved from Montation. So uh, let me give it a swig. Turned out pretty damn good. Yeah, exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's gonna be a good beer. Uh, see you guys here in a bit. So last night, me and Ricky bottled the Carolina Reaper beer, and today I'm gonna be bottling the uh, Guinness Draft Drought, whatever the hell you want to say, uh, copycat recipe. But I'm adding my uh, Brown Cinnamon Vanilla Sugar Priming Edition. Um, I do want to make it add a quick note. I don't use a lot of sanitizer. I like to boil water to sanitize stuff. If I'm going to use it in direct contact with the beer. But I do use sanitizer to soak in some of the uh, uh, stuff that I use for the bottling. Because it helps take away the scent and like get rid of almost everything. So... And I do rinse afterwards. Uh, Star Sand says, it's, it says underlined in the directions, do not rinse. But it says it directly after you wait 15 seconds. And the majority of brewers don't even wait the 15 seconds to let it dry. But if you, if you read Star Sand's directions, with everything else besides beer, it says to rinse. So rinse your Star Sand. The phosphate bubbles are going to give people heartburn. And uh, I try and keep the chemical to a minimum, even though phosphate from star sand is not a toxic chemical, but it is a mild irritant. Hot boiling water is not. So I'm sure I'll get some uh, evil comments about that, but uh, whatever. So I mix my priming sugar in the bottom of the bucket there and uh, in that nice little whirlpool there. Try and keep the oxygen at a minimal, but still mix it in there. It's coming out nicely. Uh, she should turn out pretty good. It smells, uh, smells like Guinness, man. Like almost identical, but uh, we'll find out here what happens uh, in two weeks. Bottle these bad boys up and get back to you. Taste this uh, beer before it's carbonated and cold, of course. <laughs> 